Hello. In this session, we are going to understand something called as CIA triad. You see, CIA triad is a very important topic of information security. But now, we need to understand this CIA not only in information security but as well as in other subdomains of cyber security. So it is very important for penetration testing, very important for ethical hacking, very important to network security, computer secu security, forensics or any other, right? So we need to understand each and every term which is there, CIA. So uh, what exactly CIA is confidentiality, integrity and availability, important thing uh, pers to perspective uh, with information security. But now we're going to take it in our course as well. So I cannot uh, take the whole video for the complete CIA trial, but I had split that out. So one video for confidentiality, one for integrity, and one for maybe for availability, or maybe I, I will join in integrity and availability, as availability is a very small topic. Uh, so let's understand, you know, the thing, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So let's get started. So what do you mean by confidentiality here? You see, uh, so the first term is confidentiality. I'll try my best to write uh, in a, a speedy manner, but uh, this is somehow okay. So uh, when I say confidentiality, what hits you? The hidden part here is a kind of file. So a kind of file here. This is my file, and uh, this is a confidential, very very confidential, only accessed by a person who is legitimate. So this file is going to be accessed by a legitimate user. So this is my legitimate user. You see, you had seen this type of thing in a network or any other, uh, in any other scenario. So th this file is a confidential file and the user who is going to use it or access it is going to be a legitimate user. So when I say legitimate user, an important part comes here is this person is an authenticate person to use this confidential file. Uh, this is authenticate person. So uh, I can say confidentiality is a kind of a resource, a kind of a confidential resource which can only access by a legitimate user, aka an authenticate person, right? So this is my confidentiality definition. But this leads to an, another two types of uh, you know uh, term which is very important in confidentiality. So this leads to something like this it leads to uh, a domain a subdomain uh, authentication and after that comes up authorization so we now have two extra definition inside confidentiality and based on that this whole confidentiality works so now first understand what do you mean by authentication so when i say authentication it is basically related to something like uh, which confirms your identity, right? So whatsoever you are claiming that is right or wrong is going to be depend on this authentication. It is going to prove yourself, right? So it is a process, process to prove your identity, right? So there are there are millions not millions i'm so sorry there are different ways to uh, prove your identity so we call that proof as an authentication factors and which is very important to understand so when i say your identity you can prove that with the help of so i'm gonna write here that prove by something called as authentication factors and there are different types of authentication factors available uh, in the market or in the different domain you had seen it and you had meet with these domains like several times. So first authentication factor is, uh, it is something like knowledge factor. I'm so sorry if you had heard so many times this, but uh, this is a very fundamental thing we need to cover up. So that's why I'm taking. So when I say knowledge factor, what hits you? You by, by, by the meaning of knowledge factor here, it is something like user knows, right? So something that user knows by which he can claim that I am that is I am something user knows so what can user knows uh, it could be it could be a password or a simple passphrase uh, maybe 
uh, maybe he knows something about PIN, personal identification number. Uh, maybe there is a security question. Uh, so these kind of thing deal with user knows. Okay, a second type of knowledge factor uh, deal with ownership factor. So this is ownership ownership factor which says that something user has so this deal with something user has and what user has different things so in physical user has maybe id card right maybe a security token so sorry there is a typo but uh, this is security token uh, maybe any kind of implanted device can come under uh, something user has implanted device a capsule in your in your nerve it could be an ownership factor so third kind of factor uh, which comes as inheritance factor inheritance factor and what inheritance factor says something user is or does something user is or does so what user can have or, or sorry what user is or, or 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 does it deals with something called as fingerprint okay so your biometric things will come under this part so your fingerprint is not going to change right so i mean i can change it but uh, this <laughs> This is an authentication factor, it's a fingerprint. There is a, a retinal pattern also, like it is iris scan, a retinal pattern. Uh, your DNA cannot be changed. Uh, now I can, I mean, people can change. There is a DNA sequence. Uh, then uh, face recognition, uh, maybe voice recognition, all these things user generally does so it comes in in this factor so we have three types of authentication factor knowledge ownership and inheritance so these are the things by which you can claim uh, that you are you are i mean okay so is user really is we claims to be can be you know authenticated by these uh, these factors so user can show anything like this password or maybe id card or fingerprint so it's not like only password so he can mix up things like password id card and fingerprint three three things he can show to prove it to prove uh, himself right so these are some of the things there is one more important uh, you know factor comes up and you know, something you do but i'm not taking it to, into consideration but it is there uh, so something like location information and typing speed and something like that so habitual thing of a human it can be considered as a, a factor here but these are authentication factors uh, there are you know certain types of authentication which is uh, now available in the market but uh, i'm not going to take that because otherwise it is going to be a complete information security course uh, so you can look after for single factor authentication two factor authentication multi-factor authentication one type password otp api authentication like http authentication api key authentication that you give for uh, you know uh, for for uh, uh, registration of your website with the google master webmaster with the help of api key authentication you have seen several times there is something called as open authentication or uh, op i mean open authentication you, you had seen it right so it's a token uh, like third party uh, login so if there is something like login via email and there is login via google mail or maybe login via google or login via facebook these are some of the uh, you know example of open authentication so please look after the uh, types of authentication because i'm not going to cover up here so these are some of the things in authentication factor now what do you mean by authorization well we understand in a very simple term so let's say that i have a building a campus here and this campus is a university campus let's say this is a university campus and uh, it's a campus and this is basically the the boundary and this is a main gate here uh, i mean it's the it's the entrance into the campus right so there is a security guard available here and there is also a main gate available here in the in the front end so there is a security guard guard as well now you are coming here you are coming here from the city so this is a city uh, by which 
I mean, you, you are coming from here to here. And now you are asking this person that I want to enter into the campus. Now this 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 uh, this place is completely available for anyone to come into. So you are here now, and now you will move to here to the main gate of university. So this is the main gate of university, and you are asking to this guard that I want to enter into the campus. Now what the, what exactly you're gonna show? You, if you're gonna show the university ID card. So if you show the guard the university ID card, they they will allow you to enter into the university campus so this is basically the authentication so what you are doing here is authentication a simple authentication a knowledge uh, sorry ownership factor here id card can you see so this is a simple authentication now once you enter inside the campus you see that university campus has a different things so they, there is a sector here there is a sector here this these all are sectors these are different parts of a university campus so one of like this is a library this is maybe a server room uh, maybe this is a principal desk okay um, maybe this is a canteen so several things right so now once you enter inside the university campus we have something called as access control i mean to to what you can use now you can definitely use here a library, no issue in it. I mean, you can use library, you can use canteen as well. You can you cannot use principal room, right? You cannot use server room. So what exactly these are? These are something called as access control. So access control deals with, I mean, there is a list available with the university campus uh, that defines that what person can use what things like what resources they can use. You cannot use any resource from the server room, which is completely prohibited for uh, for you. It's not available, right? So after authentication, so whatsoever doing you, whatsoever the things you are doing inside the university campus, it deals with something called as authorization. If you are authorized to use that thing, then you can use it, otherwise you cannot. So simply the access control will tell you that you are available for library, yes, you are. You are available for server room, no, you are not. So this is the authorization. So I hope you understand now confidentiality deals with two things here, authentication and authorization. I hope you like it. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next session.